Wagwan viewers and subs, welcome back to class. Thank you for tuning in. In today's video, guys, we have a lot of panels to clear here, and I want to help you guys out and teach you exactly how to keep that wet edge so that your clear coat doesn't come out with a bunch of dry spots and orange peel. Guys, now this is how the car looked before we got the clear going. As you can see, our base coat is nice and silky smooth on our car. This is the Sonic Grey Pearl. In my second to last video, I went over what you need to do to make sure that you're gonna get the best possible result from your clear coat finish, and that is from the foundation. So in that video, we talked about how to prep the car properly and clean the car properly so that you can get the best results now in this video in this video we're just going to focus on keeping that wet edge when you're spraying a lot of panels or a whole car and pretty much i'm painting the whole car here i have a good amount of panels i already painted the two bumpers the front and rear so now we're gonna go ahead and get some clear going ready for this all right guys now this is my first coat of clear the first place I cleared was the hood, and now I'm on the roof. Now, halfway into the roof, I move down to the trunk. Now, you guys might be wondering, this doesn't make any sense. Well, you're completely right. This is the wrong way to go about keeping that wet edge or just your clear coat in general. So I wanted you guys to see um, the mistake that you can make that leave you in that jam with dry spots and a whole lot of orange peel. Look at the amount of time I gave the roof to dry before I come back up there to finish the rest of it. And notice now I left the, qu the quarter panel after I finished clearing the trunk completely dry still. So this is the wrong way to go about it. I want you guys to understand that completely. If you have any questions, comments, leave them in the comment section. Guys, after about 10 minutes of flash, I'm on to the second coat. Now, the first place you want to start is on the roof. The reason being, the overspray is going down and our booth is a cross draft or a semi down draft. So it's, it's bringing the clear across and down, right? So the first place you want to start is on the roof and make sure that you keep that wet edge. Once you're done one side, you want to go immediately to the other side and make sure that you're keeping it wet completely. The other thing you might not be paying attention to is how much clear you need. Well, this part is very important. Once you're mixing up that clear, you need to do the math and figure out how much clear coat you're gonna need to get a full coat on here without stopping. Now, I will have to stop because this cup doesn't hold enough so i mixed up two cups at the same time so all i have to do is go ahead and switch it out instead of stopping to mix more and follow the correct ratio so mix up enough that you need if you can hold in one big cup then that's all the, that's that's just better um i don't like to use those big cups because it gets a bit heavy and your hands get a little tired now notice what I'm doing immediately after I finish the roof, I move down into the quarter panel and you want to take that all the way down on the pillar and then the top half of the quarter panel. And then I'm going to start on the trunk, finishing up the trunk. Then I can catch back that wet edge on the quarter panel and not have the trunk dry again by doing this here. Now the pillar is small, so the chances of a dry spot is very thin. And from here, guys, it gets easier. You just move on down into the door, making sure that everything is getting completely glossy. It's not that hard, guys. Sometimes you get scared of you might run the clear. Well, I'm going to tell you this. Getting some runs is a part of the job. It's not that you failed sometimes you could just not be paying attention or you just haven't got the clearing technique down pat where you have to figure out just how far you can go how much back and forth into the same spot you can do it's just a whole learning experience 
everybody get runs even after years of experience now here guys i can tell you that once i put the clear down on the pillar i can catch it back here without worrying about going back up to the roof making it dry again so now i'm moving on to the hood and the fender another important thing is your overlap overlap should be about 80 to 90 percent especially on bigger panels on a hood it's hard to cover and you don't want to move too fast you want to just slow it down a bit making sure that you're getting good coverage this is a very good gun when it comes to clear coat the sagola trophy truck um this is probably one of my most expensive guns but it's worth every penny and this gun i've used it for everything sealer base coat and clear and never have a problem never run to issue of it leaking or anything like that i'm using a 1.2 xl the tip size um wide open fan full fluid and a piece of advice guys if you can afford expensive guns don't force it don't put yourself in debt but when you can get them it's not a bad idea also it's not good to go cheap when you can go do better because sometimes cheaper is more expensive And there it is guys the jobs all done we got the car to look really good I believe the customer will be happy with the outcome I did do some buffing as you guys could have clearly seen the dirt nibs those minor imperfections you have to remove them before you send out your car because your customer might complain so thank you guys for watching I hope you guys like what you see here and learn something so consider subscribing and leave the comments down below